Well, hello Virgo, and welcome to your horoscope. So, hmm, you know, happy birthday if you're having a birthday this week. In fact, today's Elvis Costello's birthday this week. Elvis Costello is 62 today. I mean, can you believe that? Prince of Punks is 62. Happy birthday, Elvis. Um, okay, so it's Virgos. You know, key phrases I analyze. We're really looking at things. Looking at stuff in a deep way. That's what the season is about. We're concerned about ecology. We're concerned about purity. You know, that's what the deal with the virgin is. The untouched. And my whole theory on Virgo is it's the wilderness. And if you want to find the order that brings peace of mind, you've got to spend time in the wilderness. For those of you who live in Europe or in Western part, you know, Far Eastern Asia or India where there's a lot of dense population, there's not as, it's not quite as easy to get to the wilderness, maybe, as it is in the New World. <coughs> oh, man. But you've got to do it. You've got to, even if it's just a natural creek or river or something you can sit by, because this is going to renew your soul. And this eclipse is about sending a new direction in your life. And I think it's a direction towards where there's more entertainment, there's more creative expression, there's more lovemaking. You know, it's never too late to be loving. And when we're aroused by eros or our sexuality, we actually, in some ways, we can function better. I mean, in some ways, we can be blind to certain things, but we can actually... It's an antidepressant. Our endorphins are working. We're getting so much stimulation from the other person. We're feeling possibilities. I mean, this could be a good thing. So, all right. So the Mars-Saturn thing, you know, that's in your foundational house. That's your mom, your dad, your happiness, your tribe around you. So if you're like thinking you're Virgo, Virgo rising, and you're saying, man, everybody around me is going through some serious problems. I'm like, yeah, it's true. And then there's like the other deal. Mercury retrograde in Virgo. Oh. So what I would say is just, once again, like I said, Gemini, you know, listen twice, speak once. Um, and, you know, don't take on anything new. Just work on what's in front of you. These two eclipses that we have coming are, are doozies. But, uh, but I think this one here is the ground zero. This new moon solar eclipse is our ground zero. So renew, learn to love. And the other thing is I see economically things are going to improve for you. Venus is moving in your second house. I see some money coming. It's a little good Lakshmi vibe and you know something sweet to talk about. 